Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Today I wanted to show you guys how to use the launch pad as a MIDI enabled soundboard. Uh, I looked all over the place and I couldn't find anything really good. I do have the stream deck that I was using as a soundboard, but I started running out of keys when I started doing like more stuff on Twitch. Um, I actually came across this program because I was looking for stuff for Twitch and I came across it and realized that it had MIDI support and I was like, awesome, that's exactly what I wanted. Anyways, really quick, I'm just going to go through everything. Um... Uh, you want to make sure that it's detecting your MIDI, so go down here to this little MIDI port. Click on that if it's not responding, and normally it'll pick it up. Um, I also recommend to go into the settings, go down to MIDI interfaces to ignore, and I would actually get rid of anything that's not your launch pad because sometimes it'll create some crosstalk, and it's really weird with that. You guys don't have to worry about the OBS WebSocket IP or anything like that unless you guys wanted to use it for streaming which if you do let me know, I'll go over a different video with that because you got to configure the sound and stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to make sure that just the launch pad is unselected, so it's going to ignore every other MIDI device. We're just going to go ahead and save that. Um, anytime you make a change in here, just get on and hit this save icon right here. It doesn't give you any kind of notification that it's actually saving, but trust me, it is actually saving. All right, so to add a sound, you would just hit this plus button, have this pop up, um, and we're just going to name this test. We're going to go over to soundboard. And as you can see, it's got all kinds of things for OBS, uh, MIDI control, Twitch chat. Uh, we're only going to be focusing on soundboard for this. Um, so soundboard, going to enable. We're going to browse for a file. A lot of my files are down in creative, um, stream assets, I believe sounds. So if I want the annoying bomb sound, I can click on this. It'll pull it up right there. Audio device that I wanted to play on. For me, this is actual uh, VB audio cable. Uh, like I said, if you guys want the audio set up, uh, let me know. I'll go through that in another video because it's a little bit complicated sometimes. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to change the volume a little bit. I'm actually going to turn this down because I know this is a really loud sound. Uh, the only thing that sucks about this is you have to save it in order to really play it and mess with it. So what you're going to do also is hit a key on your launch pad and it should appear. It should say launch pad two, channel one, and then whatever note you hit, you'll see as I'm hitting different notes, it'll change it up here. Then you want to go ahead and go to add and you'll see it should up right over here. Test. I'm just going to go ahead and save this because sometimes this does crash. Uh, it's kind of weird, but There you go, there's my annoying bomb sound. Um, I had a stop button program, but uh, it's a very really long sound. Okay, try not to use really long sounds, and if you do, I'm going to show you guys how to do a stop button real quick. So if you go over to soundboard, actually you go into MIDI control, stop all sounds. Uh, we're going to create it for this key right here. And we're just going to head and label this stop. I'm going to add that in because I keep forgetting to do that. And then save. Make sure that you save because I added that in before and then it got all messed up. So now if I hit that sound again, and then it gets really annoying, I can just stop all the sounds. Uh, sometimes this does tend to crash it, which it just did. So be a little wary of that. But other than that, it actually works like pretty good nine times out of ten uh, if you have to open it back up you have to look for MIDI control and then it'll actually show up over here in your icon tray you're gonna have to pop that up and then click on it and it'll pop back up uh, anytime you minimize this or anything like that it doesn't show up on the system tray on the bottom it shows up in your icon trays so if you're looking for it that's where it is but yeah I think that's it I try to keep it uh simple and short uh, let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comment section. I normally get to pretty much all the comments. Uh, just let me know if you guys have any other question. Like I said, if you guys want to know the audio routing, that's going to be a whole separate video because it's a decent bit to do with that. But as far as the basic soundboard, uh, that's pretty much how to set it up. Go ahead and like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. Uh, I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock EST. And yeah, that's it.